Schindler's List is not just about how Schindler saved Jews. It also shows the transformation of Schindler as a person, from materialistic and money-minded to a compassionate and generous person. In the climax scene, it is this very realization for Schindler himself. This is done brilliantly through blocking, cinematography, dialogues and editing. The entire scene happens with Schindler right in the middle of all the people he saved, as if he is drowning in his own good deeds. Initially, Schindler is seen towering over all the others. He stands out above the others, symbolizing that he is godlike for them. They are alive because of him. But at the point when Stern gives him the ring, he is completely humbled and we see him slowly going down, to the level of the others at first and then even below that the others cover him completely. Schindler believes that his deeds were noble, only to realize that he could have done way more in his capacity. This puts him to think whether his nobility can really be called so and has he really contributed. This is supported visually by correct camera angles. Low camera angle at first to depict Schindler's dominance, then a mid close to show him at level, and then finally a slightly high angle. The trigger point of his breakdown is when Stern gives him the ring. The ring has the words written on it. From the Talmud, it says whoever saves one life saves the world entire. Schindler is a materialistic person. Back to the initial part of the movie, Schindler is seen saying trade goods, that's the only currency that'll be worth anything in the ghetto. He cared only about the profits that his company made. The contradiction here is that a gold ring makes him realize that life is worth more than just material things. He is humbled and the ring falls out of his hand. In the end, in spite of all his good deeds, he remains lonely, in the guilt of not saving more people. Equating the objects of his luxury with the number of lives he could have saved hits him and the audience hard. The use of rack focus when he is departing in his car signifies the contrast between him and the Jews whom he himself saved. He is no longer with the people whom he saved. Through the alternating rack focus, the contrast is glorified visually as we see the two in a distinguished manner. The editing also helps by creating the correct graph as the scene intensifies. We first start with a master shot and then as the scene builds, we get closer and closer into the characters to actually be one among them. It is cut at the right places. For example, when Schindler equates his car to 10 people, the shot cuts to one showing the people around. Why did I keep the car? 10 people right there. 10 more people just like them. And finally, the dialogues contribute in creating the right impact. The sheer comparison of a car and a gold pin with the life of people shakes you to the core. Oscar says, If I just will be generations because of what you did. This sentence is actually realized years later when you see people of all ages gathering in a line at Schindler's grave. And finally, Schindler's repentance is perfectly captured in his words. I could have got more out. I could have got more. I don't know if I just... I could have got more. Oscar, there are 1100 people who are alive because of you. Look at them. 